Why his stomach got a boner? Huh? Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy daddy, Scobar Drupal. <laughs> So uh, we back with another big body bang. Yeah, feel me? Listen, listen. Today we have a nice little another reaction for y'all. I enjoy making these reactions. Y'all seem to like the reactions, so that means the reaction is gonna keep coming. Now today we finna react to the ten stupidest, the ten most dumb criminals caught on camera. Now me personally, I personally feel like myself, I'm a pretty smart guy, right? I'm smart enough to not create, commit a crime, as in stealing something or like randomly just killing a dude for no reason, you feel me? But I feel like if I did need to go that route, which I would never, you feel me? If I did need to though, I would get away with it because I'm just so smart, I'm so, I'm so smooth. I got the finesse, you know what I'm saying? This finesse, that's what I got, listen. Finesse, that's what I got. And now I feel like I can get away with anything. But we finna catch some of the stupidest people out here. Know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's really about it. But before we get into the video, this thing's sexy. This thing is so sexy. This purple with the gold rose print, so freaking sexy. You know where you can get it from? Dread.com. I see you can buy two get the third freak bundle up to see yourself fifty dollars. Chop yourself this one. People be sleeping on this, y'all. But this y'all got the silk. You got the shine. It's finna be having you looking super fine. Looking like some steak. Wait, that's prom time. <laughs> Let's just get into the video though. I got an icy. I actually got two ICs. One of them is melted. Well, both of them is melted to be honest. Oh, I just spilled it all over the floor. Oh dang, that's bad. Hold on, let me clean this up. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, without further ado though, let's just hop right into this, man. <laughs> Pause real quick. If y'all want me to react to some, hit my Instagram at Gbro underscore. Follow me, like all my pictures. Then DM me the link to whatever video you want me to react to. If I react to it, I'll shout you out in the video. Now let's go. Number ten. Robbers climb fence and break it. These guys seem to have everything planned out pretty well. They climb the fence one at a time, and it appears that everyone has their own role to play in this robbery. It appears to be going their way for the first three people who climb the fence. They're being quiet and pretty careful not to get caught. They weren't face masks? Comes like coronavirus face masks? He some tools to the fence before starting to climb it himself, at which point he watches the entire thing. As he's climbing over, he puts too much weight on the fence's spikes, causing them to bend and snap, and probably making a good amount of noise as he does this. The others, be it to see if their partner's okay or because they think the noise will attract too much attention, quickly climb back over the fence and run for it empty-handed. From one point of view, the fourth guy prevented the robbery, so I guess thanks is in order? Yeah, see, that's, that's, <clears throat> me personally, I would never even done all that. Once I see the fences like this with the curves on the outside, see, I'm a big brain. I'm big brain, like I was telling y'all, finesse, 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 right? Me personally, what I would do, and this is not advice, nothing, do not do this. Me personally, what I would do, <clears throat> I would do a backflip over the fence into the thing i would just knock on the door when they be like hey who is it i'd be like uber eats then it would be like eats what my fist boom hit him to the face then right there i'm just robbing the house right there finesse number nine woman hides tv in her dress this one's just crazy how the hell did she do this this woman literally just walks into the store sticks a television between her legs pulls her dress down to hide it and walks out as if nothing happened how does she hide That's finesse. Tool? Well, now she walks out, everything's covered, so you can't see anything. Seriously, how the hell is she walking normally? This lady must have some killer leg muscles. That's finesse. That's that's not dumb. Why is this in that comp compilation? That was finesse. That's a small TV, though. You could have went for something bigger, but I guess she ain't got all that dump in your trunk. Not saying to cover the big old TV. You feel me? But, um, that's finesse. I'll give her that. Number eight. Robbers try breaking a window and knock themselves out in the process. Ain't no way, this is real. Here we have two rookie robbers from the looks of things. One of them is just looking around while the other tries to break a window on their target building. Instead of using something like a steel bat or a crowbar to break the glass, this guy decides it's a better idea to throw something really hard at the glass. The first thing he throws bounces off and smashes his partner right in the back of the head, instantly knocking him out. Without realizing this, he tries again, this time hitting himself in the face. Oh no, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no stupid way this idiot knocked both, both of each other out. 
Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no freaking way. Ain't no way. How do you not hear his friend fall? First thing he throws bounces off and smashes his partner right in the back of the head, instantly knocking him out. Without realizing this, he tries again, this time hitting himself in the face. You know how unlucky you gotta be? Uh, these guys aren't really the sharpest tools in the shed, are they? Number seven. Thief tries stealing laptops and breaks them all. We've all had those times where we've forgotten our phones or over our data limits, and we run into the computer store just to check Facebook on one of those display laptops. But most of us know that those laptops are just for display, meaning the store is leaving them out in the open for prospective customers to test them out. And as such, there are certain stupid, security bro. measures in place to prevent thievery. And they're definitely not subtle about it. Everyone who just walks by these computers can see that they are anchored to the shelf more securely than the pens at the bank. Despite this fact, this thief still thinks he'll be able to go in and steal a bunch of laptops from- Why is he wearing stuff on his feet? Let's talk about that. He got like booties on on his feet. He got stuff over his 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 shoes like they can get his footprints or something like that. Like track his identity through his footprints. I see he got the gloves and stuff, but the foot the footsies? You try to keep their floor clean while you breaking all their laptops, stupid? Huh? Despite this fact, this thief still thinks he'll be able to go in and steal a bunch of laptops from the store. Does he happen to bring a pair of wire cutters? No. Seems that he thinks he can just pull the computers off the shelf and the anchors will just snap. Well, he was wrong. After breaking half a shelf's worth of computers and tablets, this thief decides to just walk out with his dignity and his face on a security camera. Say cheese. Stupid. Number six. Guy puts on a mask after seeing the camera. Sometimes criminals aren't the sharpest tools in the shed. But this guy. Yo, what's in his? What's in his pants? What's in his pants? Whole another level. Why his stomach got a boner? Huh? Why this man's stomach has a boner? So he starts off by walking right up to the doors of the store. Right off the bat, not doing a good job at being inconspicuous with what outfit he's sporting. He then looks into the store, giving the Ain't no way. a good look at his face. I thought he was finna run into it. Before walking off camera oh, with a pair of leggings down over his head, and then walking right back to the doors. First, our expert criminal looks around to make sure nobody is watching. And then he very delicately chucks what looks to be a brick at the glass door. Unfortunately for him, the glass is a little bit more resistant than he thought, and cracks heavily, but doesn't break. This sets off an alarm at which point he immediately gives up and runs away. You yeah, he gotta be stupid. It, right? I'm just confused what's in his stomach though. Like what is that in his pants? His stomach has a stomach. His belly button is a second stomach. Whatever is under his shirt, I don't know. Uh, of course not. He falls over twice before finally getting out of view of the camera. Number five. Robert runs into the door. We don't even know where to start with this guy. So he breaks the bottom of the door after whacking it a few times. And he ducks into the store through the broken glass. Okay, that part is fine. Well, not really, but you know what we mean. Anyways, he goes into the store off camera for a few seconds. And then he runs back towards the door, seemingly empty handed. Now the door on the right is obviously the broken one. The glass is shattered and the cracks are impossible to miss on the part that is- Ain't no way he's finna run into this And on top of that, that's the door he came in through. But then, as he's making his escape, he runs right into the other door head first. Now this stupid and is this stupid. <sighs> Realizes his mistake and crawls out through the broken door again. Number four, guy tries to steal Till through a drive through window. If there's What's one thing to appreciate about this video, it's this guy's dedication to stealing the Till from this fast food restaurant. Seriously, he gets a gold star forever. Even if it was a pretty stupid plan. I mean, even the employees weren't worried about this guy. They tried to stop him really quickly before realizing it was pointless and walking away. Everyone but this thief knew that there was no way that this was going to fit out of this drive through window. And yet he sits there for an entire minute or so, struggling to squeeze it out. I'd be sick. I'd even hold you, because I personally, okay, who's going to measure how, how big the register is and how big the window is, right? I personally never in my life would have thought to measure it. I would just automatically assume it would fit through. And his stupid self is actually going to keep trying to do this, even though he sees there's absolutely no way it's going to fit through him. There has to be a point where you just give up, my guy. I know a minute usually isn't considered a very long period of time, but in this case, it kind of is. 
He struggles to get a metal box out of a window that's obviously too small. Eventually, he gives up, drops the kill on the floor, and then leaves. Number three. Woman steals a cookie and gets caught by Owen. Oh, she gotta be fat. Steals a cookie? And you go... While this one constitutes as a little more than petty theft, its stupidity is pretty funny. Also, sorry about the vertical video. After making a bit of a scene in a restaurant and attracting the attention of the owner, this woman decides that it's a good idea to reach over the counter and take a bite of a cookie. I don't trust girls that have a piercing right here, right? I'm gonna tell you why. There's been multiple occasions, and I've known people, girls that have had piercings right here. They're never good people at all, I promise you right now. If you, ain't, if you know anybody with a piercing right here, they're not a good person, right? Boom, I'm gonna break it down. I got nothing. When the cashier has his back turned. She then tries to justify her stealing by saying she was joking and that the cookie wasn't very good. Unfortunately for her, the owner saw this and caught it on video. And since the store doesn't sell individual cookies, she ended up having to pay for more cookies than she got. This makes her mad and she starts arguing that it's unfair that she didn't get what she paid for. And again protests that the cookies aren't very good. It goes on for a few minutes before she ultimately leaves the store after paying $3 for her half-eaten cookie. Probably one of the happier endings on this list. Can we, why did she reach over the counter and grab a cookie though? Like, they didn't talk about that. Like, was she mad? Or was she hungry? Like, what just like... And she, she reached, reached. She ain't just like, reach in there. She leaned her whole body over the thing. Look at this. She leaned her whole body. Trying to get that cookie. What made her want to do that? Like, why? What, what was the reason? <sighs> Number two, guy tries to rob a bank with a butcher knife. Everyone knows that if you're gonna perform robbery, the bank is both the best and the worst option. They got a whole lot of money, but you know, they're also made not to be robbed. While well, most to be bank robbers are foiled by on-site security, timed vault locks, or when the police eventually show up, this guy was foiled by a sheet of glass. Here we can see the robber walk up to the window, butcher knife in hand. At this point, he, for some reason, pulls out his phone and either answers a call or uses his speed dial. Either way, not the best time. Okay, what the heck? Okay, wait. I was confused this entire... Let me rewind, because maybe I missed something. Mans comes up with a phone and a butcher knife, a big old butcher knife, leans it on the glass, goes on the phone. What? Everyone knows that if you're going to perform robbery, the bank is both the best and the worst option. They got a whole lot of money, but... And the Asian there, Asian lady is just like, oh, I do have that knife next to me, man. She chilling, doing her stuff. She's not scared. What did he assume was gonna happen? He'll be like, give me the money. And they just go hand the money over. Folks being there with guns and the, and the people still don't, still don't hand the money over. What the heck going on? You know, they're also made not to be robbed. Well, most to be bank robbers are the best time. Take note of that massive glass window and the fact that his weapon of choice has very little impact force. The situation is so baffling that even the clerk turns around and laughs at him while calling a friend over. The man is then detained by a pair of- Imagine you trying to rob a bank and the person you rob and laughs at you. Imagine you pull up mad, ready to get your money. You're your freaking money, you ugly girl. And she turned around and laughed. At that point, you need to quit, my guy. For boxers, without much of a fight. Number one, guy gets his beat stolen on a subway. Think this is a cautionary tale for all obnoxiously loud music listeners. Moral of the story, it's okay to enjoy your music in public, but it's not okay to make other people listen to your off-key sing-alongs when they're just trying to get home after a long day's work. After enjoying his music a little too much for what we can assume was just a little too long, this guy gets his beat stolen right as the subway doors close by a perfectly timed thief who jumps off at just the right moment. It's both sad and a little funny to watch the former Beats owner freak out as he can only helplessly watch the- Wait, 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 wait pause. <laughs> that was finesse. My boy calm. Smoothly. By a perfectly timed thief who jumped off. Smoothly waited for the door. Took the Beats. And ran off. That was finesse. This isn't a dumb criminal. He's smart. He timed it literally perfectly. Watch how the door closes as soon as his feet leaves the, leaves the subway. At just the right moment. Boom. Smart. Time. Strategic. Finesse. That was great. He did good. 
good job, man. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condoning or I'm not, I'm not saying stealing is good. I'm just saying he, just be quiet. Don't judge me. It's both sad and a little funny to watch the former Beats owner freak out as he can only helplessly watch the thief escape. That's it? Okay. So, stupidest person on the list has to be this, this, no, the stupidest person. The stupidest person is, hold on, hold on, where he at? Where is this, oh, right here, this dude that knocked his friend out and then knocked him out. He gotta be the stupidest. The second stupidest, this guy just made me mad with the big old kangaroo pouch in the middle of his, in the middle of his stomach. For what reason was he built like this? Nobody knows. Um, this guy was pretty stupid too. He went through the wrong door. This girl, I don't know what the heck wrong with this lady. I told y'all, it's that piercing up there on her mouth. It never, never is good. Um, and then this guy right here just pissed me off. Cause he, it pissed me off because he didn't have a plan. If you not, if you go do something, have a plan at least. You feel me? At least have a plan. He was just stupid enough not to have a plan. But anyways, that's the end of it. If you guys enjoyed the mission, you like right now. Listen, don't be out here stealing. Don't be out here killing. Don't be out here robbing. That's the same as stealing, but don't be at my something in my eye. I've been trying to like pretend it's not in my eye for the sake of the video, but it's literally starting to burn. And you know what? Like, when it burns, you can't really pay attention to nothing else. And right now, I can't really pay attention to nothing else. So I feel like there's a whole freaking quarter in my freaking eye. Y'all see something? Y'all let me know. But anyways, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna see you on the next video. If you want me to react to whatever video you gotta react to, or you want me to react to, Instagram over there at Jura underscore. Also, you see the Jurek? Sexy. It's gonna make you sexy. So go to Jurek.com. You can buy two and throw them free. Bundle up to say stuff $50. You have the best do rags in the freaking game, man. These, these is like the, 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 I'm not even gonna say the Gucci's of, of do rags because they so much higher than Gucci. Like so much better than Louis. Balenci so much better than Balenciaga. So much better than, than Fendi. So much better than all of them. They just five straight heat. So go cop them. But um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna see. Y'all, ouch. And don't be out here stealing. I'm gonna catch you, I'm gonna beat you myself. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never put a line. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.